The jacket, which Colin believes holds pieces of vertebrae, are boxed up and sent with the other remains to the Scottish National Museum to be assembled and examined by bone specialist Dr. Sue Black. Unquestionably, I think we're looking at a male, that this is going to be somebody between the ages of about 23 and 25 years of age. When you come down into his upper limb, this is all we have of his upper limb, which is his shoulder blade and his ulna, which is the, the bone here on the inside of the, the, upper, the part of the lower uh, upper limb. You can see that most of it has got damaged. That's not surprising because this is a very, very thin plate of bone. And you even find in, in more recent cases, this doesn't tend to survive. So to find something as intact as this in something of such antiquity is phenomenal, absolutely phenomenal. It's a beautiful specimen. What you can see is, for example, there's, there's a huge bar of bone. I can hold the bone by this. And there's a muscle attaches on there, which is called subscapularis. It's in the back. And it's the muscle that's involved in pushing and in turning of the upper limb. And it's, it's a real forceful volume muscle. So whatever he was doing, he was doing forcefully with, with his upper limb. And that's borne out as well when we look at the ulna and particularly in this area around here. This is the site of attachment of a muscle called brachialis. And what it does is it allows you forcibly to flex at the elbow. So there's a lot of powerful movement at his shoulder. There's a lot of powerful movement at his elbow. Whatever he was doing required a lot of power in his upper body so that I can envisage, for example, a sailor hauling on the ropes, pulling down with the muscles in his shoulder, pulling down with the muscles on his arms. Not the result Colin was expecting. An even bigger surprise awaits him in the lab of conservator Theo Skinner, who has succeeded in detaching the bones from what Colin thought was a soldier's jacket. Well, Colin, I'm glad you've turned up. Would you like the good news first or the bad news? Oh, let's have the good news. Well, the good news is that these bones, according to the bone specialist, mm. appear to come from the same skeleton as all yes. the other bones. And that's, well, that's where the bad news comes in. I'm afraid yes. that this is not a jacket. It turns out to be pieces of a shoe. The bones had got caught in them. And what precisely made you think it was the jacket? Was it just the vertebrae? It, it was largely that, and, and, and not seeing fully how they, the, as we see now, the sole coming round here, it was all sort of folded over in on itself. It just looked like thick pieces of, of leather <laughs> with the, 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 the vertebrae uh, sort of caught up with them, and I thought perhaps it was a fragment of a buff coat um, with part of the owner still inside. But uh, uh, clearly that's, that's not the case.